This is the fully automatic harvesting broiler cage. We call it fully automatic because you don't need workers to go inside the chicken house and take the plastic board out and then the chickens drop on the belt. No need. We're just using a moving floor to convene the chickens outside the building. Uh, let me show you the details. You can see here is the plastic floor. The chickens will stand on it to drink and eating here. When they are ready for slaughtering, this floor can be movable. It can move forward like a circle. So all the chickens on the floor will be convened to the outside of the building. The floor and then the horizontal belt conveyor inside and then belt conveyor outside the building. Workers just stand outside the building and pick up the chickens and put into the crate. So you see, no need workers to go inside the building. That is the fully automatic harvesting. Let me show you how the fully automatic harvesting is done. There are several steps. First step, we lift up the drinking line and the feeding line to the highest level. As the second step, we will open the divider. Divider, all divider inside the cage will be turned on or opened at the same time. And the third step, we will turn on the moving floor system. So our chickens can be taken out the building automatically. Let me introduce you the fully automatic manure cleaning system. Firstly, the chickens on the floor, uh, they will, uh, their manure will drop on the belt and the PP belt will convey the chicken manure to the horizontal um, belt conveyor and then to the slant belt conveyor. Um, I want to emphasize one point is that the PP belt is only used for manure cleaning. It won't be used for the chicken cleaning. Do you remember the same automatic harvesting kit I introduced before? We need to take the plastic board out and then the chickens drop on the belt, right? And the belt will convene the chickens outside the building. But for this fully automatic harvesting, that is the moving floor automatic. We don't need the PP belt to convey the chickens. We use the plastic floor to convey the chickens outside the building. So no need the chickens drop on the belt. So for this, the belt lifespan is longer and better. The feeding system is also fully automatic, and we have two options. One is the pan feeding system. Uh, we also call it inner feeding, like this. You see, the pan feeder is inside the chicken house, and there is an auger pipe. The auger pipe will convey the feed into the pan feeder, so chickens can eat here. The advantage of the inside feeding is that we can make sure there is feed supply for 24 hours. And another option is the feeder trough. Um, the farm owner chose the feeder trough for two reasons. 
First reason is the feeder trough, since the feeder trough is outside the cage. So you have or the chicken have the bigger space inside. The second reason is for the feeder trough, it is easier to clean the chicken feed. So um, different types uh, of the feeding system has the its own advantage. You can choose according to your requirement or situation. If you choose the feeder trough type feeding system, you will use this feeding cart for the feeding. Uh, the feed will be conveyed to each hopper one by one, and the feeding cart will drop feed into the trough, each tier, and then it can move forward and backward automatically. So chickens can eat feed here. Uh, let me show you how it works. The cage you see here is four tiers. One, two, three, and four. Since it is four tiers, not so convenient for the workers to check the chickens on the top. So we make the, the, the first and the second floor of the feeder trough, we make it a secret type. So workers can step on it. Let me show you. You see, it is very strong for workers to step on. So we can make the cage to two tiers or three tiers or four tiers according to your building height and the chicken quantity. The lighting system is also fully automatic controlled. But for the installation way of the lighting, there are two ways. Which way you choose depending on which feeding system you choose. Let me show you. In the video, you can see the LED tube is installed outside the cage, right? Because you choose the feeder trough feeding system. The feeder trough is outside the cage and the chickens will eat feed here. So they need enough light for them to eat. So you have to feed, you have to install the tube here outside the cage. But if you choose the inner feeding system, that is the pan feeding system, you see the chickens will eat the feed from the pan feeder here. They need enough light. So you have to install the tube light here inside the cage. 